Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today we're not unboxing anything. Today we're celebrating 25 years, my 25 years in the industry, by looking back at some of the things, the, the modern representation of some of the things that really grabbed my attention two and a half decades ago. Today we're looking at the SVS PC2000 Pro. This is a stunning subwoofer. I'll be honest, the SB sealed box, so uh, SVS by the way, they do, in the 2000s, they do a sealed box, so an SB2000 Pro, a PB2000 Pro ported box, and a PC cylinder 2000. I'll be honest, the uh, ported box probably sounds a little bit better. Uh, a little bit more breath, a little bit, little bit lower down, it doesn't feel as constrained. And with that goes a little bit louder into most spaces. But it's a big box. It's, a, it's significantly larger in volume than the uh, SB2000. And, uh, and it reflects in sales. The SB1000 and the SB2000, you know, 10 times the sales of the ported boxes because they're really compact. They're mighty little subwoofers, uh, brilliant in their range, set up app now, um, so you can dial up with all of the pro versions, a, a, a Bluetooth app. You, you don't need to keep it on your phone, but it's just a, a brilliant opportunity to dial in some of the settings and check a few things. It's, it's, it's awesome. And you can do it within the you know, comfort of your living room, so you're not jumping up and down and trying to change settings. So that was, that was awesome. Um, why we're talking about the cylindrical version, the PC2000, is because, yes, it's quite an inconvenient size and shape. I completely agree. That's not the point. What it is, is, as, is an awesome implementation of what SVS does so well. And it reminds me of some of the very, very best subwoofers that I've managed to touch and share and sell over the years. The PC2000 Pro is a quintessential example of some of the best subwoofer engineering uh, to date. Conceptually, and I sort of turn it around so you can kind of see, it's a bit boring really. It's at the back that kind of most things go. By the way, uh, the PC2000 Pro unboxing video and its predecessor, the PC2000, these are available. Have a look. Basically, you've got a floor firing main woofer and um, SVS's isolation feet at the bottom. So from a technology perspective, they're scrimped on nothing. Okay, It's one of SVS's drive units, uh, so they make the driver, the voice coil, the magnet, everything in-house, and their sledge amplifier. The sledge amplifiers uh, basically pick a number and double it as far as its ability to deliver control. They're very, very electrically efficient Class D amplifiers, uh, very, very low distortion. Uh, they've got a range of inputs and outputs. Uh, because it's got an app, there's no dials on this particular unit. You've, you, you sort of ask, you tell it what you want it to do and then move the ups and downs to do it. Uh, but most people will use the app. Um, nine times out of ten, the only time you reach around the back is to adjust the volume. Um, there's SVS also, by the way, do a series of wireless transmitters and receivers for these. Hence why they've got a USB at the rear. Nevertheless, why we're discussing something like this and is that this design really does work so well. And look, I'm sorry for how much space it takes up and it looks pretty ugly in a space. But if you've got an opportunity to put one or two of these in your room, do it. The concept is, of course, that all of the mass of the subwoofer is sitting on top of the main drive unit. And the port, which is often compromised uh, most poor quality subwoofers either, either create a chuffing noise, so the drive unit is able to move enough air that uh, the ports itself start to act like a woodwind instrument. Okay, That's poor chuffing. Or they have to seal the box to uh, avoid having to manage a port. And that means that the amplification is, is, is not, not wasted, but conceptually it's wasted because the drive unit is having to fight against its own um, vacuum and 
amps and pressure inside, and with compact boxes, standing waves and all sorts of things are having to be managed, and that's going to be the detriment of the subwoofer's performances. There's no way around it. Well, SVS has had the confidence to say, well, let's do it properly. So again, all of the mass of the subwoofer is centered over the drive unit. So it's as it mechanically works, it's not going to have any uh, movement or anything uh, untoward as far as it moving or vibrating. The second thing is, this, this cylindrical design is a brilliant example of, of how much air you can have in behind that drive unit before it sees the top of a port. So that port actually is a big um, J-shaped or L-shaped port. And it goes right to the top. So the standing waves and pressure, uh, air pressure, has to change significantly within this box before it will then see the port. And the port itself is so long before it sees the outside world that it's virtually impossible. In fact, it is. It's impossible for any port chuffing to occur. It's an absolutely brilliant design. Imagine being able to deliver prestigious amounts of bass dynamics, big excursion in a drive unit without vibrating the box, without port chuffing, and without having to have any of the compromises associated with sealing the box. So, the SVS PC2000, it's, it's iconic as far as I'm concerned. It's brilliant as far as its performance. And this overall design has always grabbed my attention. And it's why I'm sharing it today. Celebrating my 25 years in this industry with the SVS PC2000 Pro. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.